What's up, Bikes? I'm Allie. I'm Olivia, and you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Coming back to school full time after break. Here's more information. I think coming back full time is definitely going to be a barrier on a lot of people and it's going to do more harm than good. I understand people who are nervous about it, but I am very excited to have my Clipper staff and my yearbook staff all in the same place and I'm really excited to see all of my students back in school. Um, so I would say overall I'm super excited. I definitely think that we're going to go back to some sort of either hybrid or remote completely just because of um, spring break and a lot of the time people go out to other places and other states and definitely a lot of cluster areas and at the time right now we don't have a lot of people vaccinated we do have teachers and other people that are frontline workers but we don't have a large amount of people vaccinated and in in main efforts to like stop the cases. That's a tough one. I don't know because I do know that a lot of our sports teams have had trouble with quarantine, but so far I haven't seen a massive quarantine based on classrooms. So I'm hoping we won't be quarantined within two weeks. I definitely don't see us having any sort of six feet or any of that. I think we're still gonna be sitting right next to each other. And I definitely think cases are gonna go up in our school. That's going to be hard contact tracing if there is a positive case and they find out that they were in the lunchroom. I think that that's going to make for really difficult contact tracing. Um, but I also don't know how else they would set it up because all of the desks that they've had in there, they now need for classrooms. So I'm not sure if there's a way around that. Um, I don't know, that makes me a little, I think that that makes me a little nervous. I definitely think Wednesdays have been really beneficial, at least for me, working in other stuff, in school activities, and also getting my homework done. Wednesdays have definitely been like a day for me to like rethink of what I'm doing this week and what I need to get on top of. I think I'm probably just going to need to be very diligent about cleaning the tables and the desks between my classes and making sure that everybody has their masks on and has them on properly because I do know a lot of times they have a tendency to sneak down right below the nose so we'll need to make sure that the masks are totally on properly. But outside of those two things I don't think it's really going to change anything and that's not necessarily changing it's just making sure we're being very diligent about it. Now on to the rest of the announcements. Make sure to park in your stall, especially after break. If you have any questions, see Off Officer McKay in the security office. Interact's Pot of Gold fundraiser just started. The seminar that brings in the lar largest monetary donation wins a pizza prize. Please help support the North Topeka outreach. The Viking Brew is now selling smoothies. The current flavors are strawberry, banana, and peach, pear, and apricot. Stop by after break. Now, on to Alley with sports after this quick commercial break. school events and games, make sure to create a safe and welcoming environment. Follow Rule 52, display good sportsmanship, and remember all school rules when cheering on our teams. It's always a great day to be a Viking.
NCAA voters will be releasing the final bracket for the NCAA tournament on March 14th. We are hosting a school-wide competition for students and teachers to enter in for a chance to win a prize. More information on that coming Monday, March 15th on SVTV. Baseball, softball, and golf are all selling fan apparel. The links to each shop is posted on Schoology. Make sure and support these teams. The live stream for boys substate basketball is posted on Schoology now. The game will be tomorrow at Topeka West and will start at 3. Now over to Zoe with the weather. Good afternoon, Vikings. Our temperatures are starting to drop more and with this we also are starting to get more rain chances. Today is going to be fairly cold compared to yesterday with our temperatures only being up in the mid-50s by this afternoon. For your SVTV 7-day forecast, today we are going to be in the 50s before we warm back up into the 60s. And we're going to stick into the 60s for a while longer Then we're going to dip into the 70s here and there. We are expecting a fairly warm spring break week, but we are expecting our temperatures to drop that weekend and possibly have some rain move through the area. No back to your anchors. Thanks, Zoe. That's all we have for today, but remember that the east exit by the tennis courts is a one-way exit only after school. Have a great spring break.